start talking about the state fair, right? It has many traditions and one that's still going very strong in its 56 year combines crops and art. We love both. Shane Wells introduces us to one of the seed art competitors who takes us through her process from the inception to the perfect ending. Here we are inside Christy Clancher's house surrounded by seeds and many, many examples of amazing crop art. And we wanted to see a little bit of how this process actually comes together. I am fascinated by this. I know everybody is. How did you get started, first of all? Um, I had been going to the fair my, my whole life. and grew up in St. Paul. And in 2015, it was the 50th anniversary of the crop art competition. And I had always loved that exhibit because it was just just funny. I mean, people they had puns and they had politics more than the regular art, and they accept everything usually, unlike the fine arts competition. So I thought this is the competition for me. Um, so I entered and had no idea what I was going to do. I procrastinated to the last minute, and I had been listening to a podcast called Spontaneous Nation with Paul F. Tompkins, who is a comedian, um, and. I thought I will do his portrait in an old timey sort of radio microphone made out of like corn. But now your piece is actually hanging up in his studio. Yes, it's um, that's I, full circle moment. It's at Earwolf Studios, <laughs> hanging up in LA. It's a, yeah. And your uh, piece that you're working on, your other okay. one that you haven't started quite yet. Yes. Um, how did you decide to feature this? You said you did this comedian earlier. It ended up in his studios. Tell us why you picked Liz Winstead to do a feature on. Oh, um, well, Liz is a huge fan of crop art in the State Fair, and she goes every year. And she, um, when the year Prince died, there were a lot of different Prince entries. And I heard her actually talking about the piece that I entered, and she said that it saved her or something like, um, something wow. like that. And I am like, okay, wow. Well, she's she should have this. <laughs> she, she does actually own it. It's, um, oh, so she, she has, has your her, Prince piece. She has my Prince Hamilton mashup piece. She had tweeted something about how nobody in Minnesota is actually famous until they uh, they have a crop art piece or they have a butter sculpture <laughs> or something. And, and then she's um, then she sent the tweet to me and said, um, I might, you might need to get on this. Ta-da! And there it is up on the wall. You got yourself a ribbon. Christy, how does it feel seeing it up there? It feels great. I was really not expecting a ribbon. Yeah, I think it turned out great. I love it. <laughs> and the update would be that already it has been seen by Liz, at least it online. Has, yes, she had possibly the best reaction anyone could ever hope for to it. And she said that she was sobbing and that it's the most, the highest honor a Minnesotan can have. And I'm like, okay, that's, I, that feels pretty great. I'm just happy she liked it. Hopefully that ends up in her house someday. That's the goal, right? That you can yes, maybe give it to her? I'm going to give it to her. Yep. Gonna give it to her. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Yep. Letting us see the process and then also the finish. Well, thanks for process. chatting with me. It was yeah. so much fun. It's amazing. <laughs> All right. Thanks. And with that, we'll send it back to you.